Hello, students. Once you log into your Tinkercad account and you uh, have verified that you are in your teacher's classroom, then what you'll need to do is you'll need to get started with projects. Uh, a great place to start is to go to the learn section. When you go to learn, it has all kinds of different tutorials to get you started. And they give you some basic skills to get started with. They tell you about the tools and have different things for you to try. And I highly recommend that you start with those. Okay. Then once you feel confident and you try all these basic skills and maybe some different projects, then what can happen is you can start building your own projects and you can reach your account all by just clicking on the Tinkercad icon. When you click on the Tinkercad icon, this is where you can see any projects that you have built. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and create a design right now. All right. And when you enter Tinkercad, you'll have some controls over here. You have your blocks over here that you can work with or elements that you can work with. So I'm going to go ahead and just do something very, very plain. Okay, hey, once you have created your design or whatever it is that you are wanting to build, then I'm going to click an invisible box around all of my objects. And then I will group them together by clicking this icon right here. And it pieces those together so that way they are one and it will snap them together in a sense. All right, now what the student will need to do is determine how they're going to turn it in. So it depends how your teacher wants to set it up. Okay, so your teacher can set it up a couple different ways. I'm going to switch to my teacher mode here. It all depends on how your teacher wants you to turn it in. Your teacher may set up what's called a Google form. So here's an example of a Google form. Your teacher could have you put in your name and the name of your project and a link to your file. Or your teacher may ask you to do the same thing in Google Classroom. So it just depends on how your teacher has it set up. I have some assignments here as a student or as a teacher, I should say, I have some assignments set up where you could turn in your assignment in Tinkercad straight from here. Teachers, you're going to need to decide how you want students to turn it in. You can, as a teacher, click on your icon here, go to moderate kids. And when you get here, you can see any activity that the kids have done. The trick is, is that you actually have to kind of filter through some of the stuff that the kids have done. Uh, because it does keep track of what each student does as they work over time. With that, I can see that the student worked on this, worked on this, worked on this. It's hard to tell exactly what is actually completed. If I click on designs, I still get kind of the same thing. Okay, so it's somewhat difficult to filter through what's actually being done. So you could have students just tell you when they are finished with their projects. That's fine. That would work. But you could also have kids turn it in. So here's probably the easiest way that would be the fewest steps for students to turn it in. Students can just hit the share button. They can hit generate new link. And when they hit generate new link, they would just hit the button that says copy here. Simple enough. They go to their Google Classroom or the Google form that you have set up and they can paste it in. So if I were to turn this in for the student, I'd go to Classroom. Once your student is in Classroom, they can go to a specific Tinkercad Classroom that the teacher has made it or it can be in the regular ordinary classroom. Just depends on how the teacher has it set up. Okay, so the teacher could either set it up as an assignment or could set it up as a question. Either one is appropriate. If they set it up as a question, the student can just hit Control V and paste in the link just like that. And I'll go ahead and submit it. Or if it's done as an assignment, the student can open up the assignment, go to Add, choose Link, and hit Control V to paste it in here. then they can turn it in. Either one would be appropriate. So now the teacher can go and visit the question, get the link, and it takes the teacher directly to the project. When the teacher is in the project, the teacher can then click on export 
choose STL, and it goes to the download folder. So that way the teacher can turn it in to the Polar Cloud or whatever 3D printer you have purchased.